What is up to you fans and of course welcome to our week 6 battle against of course Eric or Ashnakai or the Brizzle Beat Oofs. Due to France and Germany playing football today, I won't go into much more detail right here and then. If you play, see my team analysis, you know exactly what I'm expecting. He brought exactly what I'm expecting. Now Reuniclis is not there and uh, actually it was either that or my Lodek. My Lodek did make it, so yeah, I'm feeling comfortable with this team. And yeah, let's see how things went. Let's do this! Also, fun fact, we actually had to recreate this scene six times due to her getting a DC in the middle of the game. Six times I literally recorded this. And we sort of the bell like this. I was basically knowing it's gonna lead up with Fortress and going for Thunderbolt, push to sturdy. Then knowing that Eric will have cussed up, so I'm better off going for Sister after this. Either if it goes to Spikes, Toxic Spikes, whatever, I can defog. Or if it goes to Explorer Explosion, there is roughly a bit of a chance that he do above 50%, that's pretty much it. So I had this series of plays in mind, I knew this is the way he's gonna play it. I was hoping for non-explosion so I could defog, pretty much ensuring that the rocks stayed off the field no matter what, but that is not what happened. It is okay, this is actually a situation we're kinda looking for. Now I know that he will bring of course a Chandelure and I can't take it from Chandelure depending on the set. So I decided he had to bring Drapion because Drapion can take any hit here. Uh, or we can't take flamethrower, but why would it go with flamethrower? So uh, Baltasar is gonna come in. Now I'm kicking myself a bit because I don't have pursuit. I have knockoff. I should have pursuit. I should have just skipped the taunt, but I don't have it sadly. And I'm gonna safely switch out, go into shock. And the reason I mentioned six times that we restarted was because this guy got me paralyzed two times while I was recreating this. And also my uh, Thunder's T got the Fortress paralyzed two times too, which is actually great. So anyway, knowing that you're mostly gonna roost, I'm gonna go to Elissa. Elissa now is of course a call mine set, and I need to call mine to be able to do it, especially defensive uh, melodic. Now, having that in mind, I knew that Psychic did less than 50% and Moonblast did more than 50%. So I was basically like this, I need to go for Psychic, I need to ensure him that he attacks me. That's the only way I'm gonna kill it, because if not, he's gonna recover stall me. And the reason I say this is because he goes for a Toxic here. I knew Toxic was a thing, but I couldn't switch out to Scissor. There was no way that play was gonna work. And obviously, I don't really want to take a Skull with Scissor in mind. So he gets Toxic up. I could also brought, of course, Volcania, but I really don't want to do that. So I go for the first Psychic, and it does less than 50% as I was hoping. As he goes for Recover, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, now, luckily for me, he did see it did less than 50%, which is what we wanted. Because, like I said, it has a chance of doing less than 50%. Now, I do go a, bit, a little bit over, but, like I said there, he does stay in here because he has nothing to lose. Like, he knows Psychic is a roll, but Moonblast is not a roll. So, that's my out of the way. Now, I offer Guard War in this situation kind of hard, but at the same time, I get my out of the way. My Lordic is actually a very, very annoying mod for me to deal with. So, having that out of the way pretty darn nasty so he'll go for flamethrower here there's really nothing i can do have to sack off guard of war and um it is where it is uh anyway going to belzebub here knowing he's locked into flamethrower i can freely go for a substitute without really having to worry now amunga is gonna come in here and i thought that was a strange switch in oh actually i went for steam eruption how about that uh oh <laughs> anyway i do get burn because we're still a volcano after all so <laughs> Yay, but uh, yeah, there is really nothing his Amoogus possibly could do. Flamethrower does take him out in this range if he's not Assault Vested, which I find out that it is. No matter what, he goes to Shock here, and that's the right. I go for the Substitute, and here's where I think that he, you know, I was wondering, you know, what set is this man really? At the same time, that he wouldn't go for a Volt Switch, right? I have Thunderous, Thunderous eats that, right? But no, he goes for it, so okay, fine. Uh, I think I decided to go for a Steam Eruption here, should probably go for Flamethrower, since Amongus comes in yet again, and Steam Eruption doesn't really touch this guy. Now I do decide I had to go for Flamethrower next turn, and basically because I knew he was going to keep going for possibly Zapdos. In worst case, if he stayed in, then uh, Among or Amongus would fall, basically, though it doesn't do to the Assault, or assault Vest, but like I said, they didn't know that at the time. So anyway, it switched back to Zapdos, I don't go for a sub, which I could have done for days on end, really. Uh, and the flamethrower does put in at 50% and I knew that there is no way he would volt switch now. Like I said, I have Thunderous, Heracross, I must go to Heracross here. Uh, because he's gonna go for Hidden Power Ice, he's gonna predict that, right? No, 
He actually goes for Volt Switch. And the reason I'm kind of surprised about it is because he would lose such a massive momentum had I got Thunderous. Because Thunderous would have eaten anything that came in afterwards. That obviously did not happen. Thing is here, I can't really switch out on this. If he just decides to set up, then my um, Scissor can't kill it. I can't switch into Scissor knowing that Fire Blast is a rather safe player. Fire Blast does kill us. No, it doesn't. I have Aka Berry, but still, that is something I couldn't risk. Now, having that in mind, I'm just gonna go to Gate Star, and I have to go for safe attack. Actually, I have to go for Slash Wave. While I'm not particularly fond of it, I know that this is sadly it's uh, the only thing I got here. And he goes to the Humongous, and I was thinking, right, I don't really do too much damage, but at the Calyxir Wait, um, Hidden Power Flying should kill at this point. Well, Assault Vest. And he goes for a Slush Bomb here, and I think that's kind of neat and kind of surprising. Consider, still have Scissor, I have immunities, but it still goes for those stabs hits, which kind of, you know, perplexes me. So he goes for Sean Delores, I just go for Thunderbolt, knowing I'm probably going to switch that out. And yeah, we got some nice damage there. Now I do have to preserve, of course, Thunderous to the end game. So I'm going to sack Belzebub, which probably wasn't the right decision, considering that Belzebub actually takes a Shadow Ball, which I wasn't expecting. And I should probably have sacked actually <laughs> Sister at this point, but it is what it is. Luckily for me, though, I can bring Brapion safely here, since Shadow Ball doesn't kill us. And whatever is switched in here is not gonna to scare us out because we are gonna sword stance, of course. And like I said, they're not in pursuit, pretty darn shitty, uh, because it just can keep getting away. Now I'll just go for sword stance, and at this point I was kind of feeling, why the hell didn't I have substitute or agility or whatever to be able to outspeed this Sean Law? And the reason I say that is because at this point we lose. And the thing is here, I will say this. Um, I have a chance here with Scissor to, of course, with Bullet Punch to knock the Chandelure out, right? It actually is an 80% chance of knocking it out after calcing it. The thing is here, I thought he knew that. And I really, really thought that he would switch out through knowing that he'll lose Chandelure. So I went for a U-turn. Fuck my life. I don't know how Eric was playing so goddamn ballsy, but dear lord did it pay off that's my style i'm the one doing the risky plays but he just knocks it out of the park so yeah that is gg my friends and there's really not much more i can say uh, i will say this of course you know oh the obvious oh if i did this then oh everything would have been different but yeah actually yeah <laughs> Of course, like I said, they're having Pursuit on Drapion. You know, it was a judgment call. I was juggling between Taunt and Pursuit. I decided for Taunt in case he wanted to keep his Fortress alive. He did not have that intention. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate. Uh, it is what it is. And uh, having Pursuit would have ensured me winning this match. Also, I had um, a rest, uh, rest Call Mine, Dechesto, Guard War in my with Stored Power, Moonblast. Uh, but I didn't use that due to in case he wanted to use Live Pod. And those two sets would have been very, very, very mighty for this match. But you know, those are a judgment call. I decided to go a bit more balanced. And uh, it is, actually was a very interesting game. Like, I, I am so proud of Eric because he always struggled battling me. But this time I actually think he figured it out. He played extremely risky and it did pay off. I didn't catch. His tougher plays, like had I catch the Zapdos and the Volt Switch, things might have been very, very different for him. But that kind of goes over overall. I don't do believe I misplayed too much. Bringing in, of course, a Volcanion for sacking might not have been the best call, considering he blocked himself to Shadow Ball. Scissor could have taken that, possibly Bullet Punch. So it's it's unfortunate but at the same time it is what it is like i said here i don't feel necessarily bad about losing this match because like i said eric plays a really good game and uh, i really can't argue much more around that now with that said it is highly unlikely that we make playoff but don't worry guys we still have one more game not two because one has left the tbu i can't go into much more detail about it but we do get a trio victory due to that but, like I said, it's highly unlikely we make playoff, and it is it is somewhat sad, I won't lie. I, I really feel that um, this season has not been what I was hoping for, 
but it, it's all on me and as long as I get games like this against of course uh, Eric then you know it's all okay I actually enjoyed this game quite a lot and I think for you guys this must have been a very very interesting game too and um, so yeah with that said guys do expect Viking Render next week even though we don't have a Wi-Fi battle don't worry about it we'll figure something out and uh, with that said I want to thank you of course everybody for watching and uh, well I'll see you next week. Stay tuned on Twitter for possible updates whether or not we can make playoff. If we can make playoff, then I'm going pretty darn serious against Dan. If we're not, Dan can expect some weird shit last week. Let's see what happens. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.